Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial and today I want to talk about Microsoft and that is because they are going to be announcing earnings on April 25th, which is Tuesday of this week. Now it says unconfirmed here, but it is actually confirmed they are going to be announcing earnings on that day. In terms of expectation right now, the expected earnings are going to be here available on the screen. You can see that this is going to be as of the period ending March 31st, 2023. Earnings are expected to be in line with prior quarter, and that is going to be what follows a very strong Q3 and Q4 of 2022. Now, it's going to be interesting to note that tech in general has had a very strong year, despite the fact that 2022 was pretty weak. In fact, a lot of tech in general dropped anywhere between 20 to 30 percent. And you saw that across the board from the what I would describe as the generals which would be things like Google, Apple, and Microsoft. Now you can see since the beginning of the year, Microsoft is up from about $240 a share up to their current price north of $280 a share. Now a lot of this strength is coming from the fact that they have a very strong partnership and a majority ownership of a company called OpenAI, which is leading their push into AI as well as how it can be combined into their Microsoft Office tools, into their Bing search engine, as well as into their Microsoft Teams platform that they use for chatting. Now, AI is something that has not historically been different or a separate component of the Microsoft platform. However, this is a chat platform that is set to revolutionize how people do work, how they interact with one another, as well as how they search for things. And they have a large start on that. Now, another company that they've been compared to in Google, who they are highlighting is going to continue to be a competitor and a large player in the space, but for every percentage point that Microsoft is able to steal over, that is going to be a large impact by way of revenue. So you can see here on the screen, every single year, you continue to see incredibly strong growth in income and that corresponding impact on cash flow there on the right hand side. Now, I don't expect there to be any major changes from those statements here. However, I do think any recessionary news or any potential layoffs or cost savings that they highlight is going to continue to have a negative impact on the overall company. That being said, you can see that the company continues to perform very, very well from a cash flow perspective. And the question is going to be just can they contain or maintain this current growth? If you look at the current valuation, the company itself continues to look very strong. However, they are continuing to maintain incredibly high private or price to earnings ratios north of 31 PE ratio right now. At the same time, you see interest rates at a significantly higher point than they were 12 months ago today. So the question is going to be is now that we've seen Apple continue to perform very well this year, you see the market overall stay very, very heavy tech is is Microsoft going to be able to announce a high enough earnings to where they are going to continue to be able to maintain such a high and lofty valuation, despite the fact that the macroeconomic headwinds don't necessarily look that great. Overall, Microsoft continues to be poised to perform very, very well. The question is if the broader market can be something that ends up dragging them down, or if they end up having a reset on overall valuation to be something that is a lot closer to what other companies are currently experiencing, especially those in the tech sector. So that's what I'm going to be watching is not necessarily just their prior quarter earnings because I anticipate those are going to be good, but what the forecast looks like on a go forward basis. And I'm going to be watching that here on the channel as well as in the Discord linked in the description down below. If you find this content helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.